Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we are talking about different you know, key values, key things, uh, indicators of, uh, of a field bus system. And also we want to talk about how we can select a field bus system which is suitable for our application. All right. Let's come to the key values or, or typical terms. It's not only key values, it's typical terms. Eh? Well, one typical term is, uh, is, is, the, the, is transmission rate. Okay, So every field bus system has a transmission rate. Transmission rate. What is this? This is the speed, how many symbols, how many messages, symbols, I can, not messages, symbols, yeah, because a message may consist of several symbols and then a long message takes longer, how many symbols per second, yeah. Symbols per second, yeah. this and this bit per second usually, uh, think about Ethernet, gigabit network, one gigabit per second transmission rate. Okay. Then, this is, this is the speed, right? Then we have, for instance, the, the term repeater. Repeat. What is a repeater? A repeater is repeating what it heard on one side to the other side. Yeah? It's just it's just refreshing the signal. All right. So it's refreshing the signal. So we can have longer lines. Okay. If we have to uh, communicate over a longer period, over a longer distance, yeah, then we can put a repeater in the middle. Yeah? Then the signal at the repeater is refreshed, and well, that's a repeater. Okay. On the other hand, we have a gateway. Okay. What is a gateway? It a gateway has two nodes inside of two different systems. Yeah? So two nodes of two different feed bus systems. So it can couple two different systems. Coupling of those two systems possible. Yeah. This is a good name for this because actually it's a gateway to another field bus system. On one side I don't know we have Profibus and on the other side we have Modbus and there is a gateway where we can exchange data. Gateway. That's a little bit more complex than a repeater. Uh, repeater is just one in one side one system, a gateway is more complex. Okay. Then we have the term of interoperability. Interoperability. Uh, this means how many vendors? Okay. How many different? How many? How many things I can connect? Yeah? How many things I can connect? Yeah. And then. Some field bus system do even have to the possibility to select a transfer medium. Okay, so there is also the selection of the transfer medium.
Now, if there are then different different powers or different transmission rates, length, and so on possible, usual transfer media is called twisted bear. Twisted pair uh, cables which are twisted. Uh, then we have so called multi core cables. There are simply in one cable uh, really a bunch of lines inside. Then there are coaxial cables, and of course, there are optic fibers. Single mode, mono mode, and so on. This is the transfer medium. Okay, so these are the names which are usual in this field of, yeah. And now let's come to the selection, okay. What has to be done to select a proper, for a suitable for our application, uh, field bus system, huh? We have to ask us several questions. Okay, one question is uh, what is necessary what <laughs> is necessary to uh, add a number uh, What is necessary to add a member? Yeah. What things I have to take? Yeah. We talked about this topology with the middle node. Do I have to adapt something more in my, in my feedback system or is it just adding the member and so on? Yeah. Then, what happens with a failing member? How good can a, a single system cope with a failing member? This is always happening. It's not an option to say nothing is failing. This is always happening and we have to cope with this. Huh? We have to cope with this. Huh? What is the timing of our, of our feedback system? What is the timing? Huh? Is it real-time capable? Is it not real-time capable? Yeah? What is the transmission speed? What is the maximum length between two members? Usually we have some application in mind and then we know how far apart two members can be. Is this capable? Is this feedback system capable of managing this? Is a gateway necessary for instance? Yeah? What transfer medium optic fibers usually have longer distances possible and so on? This is somehow reflecting those, those names. Yeah? Timing, transmission speed, maximum length of, of, the, of, of, of cables between two members. Are there enough vendors? Yeah? Vendors. Can I choose among different companies which manufacture it for this field bus system or is it a field bus system exclusively uh, offered by one company? Yeah? I have to select. Do I want to bring me in this company's somehow dependence or not? Yeah. Then usually you know, usually you're not solving a brand new problem. Yeah. There was already an application which is at least very similar to the application you want to solve. Yeah. So are there references? Are other references all right? Is there, is there a similar? Topic which has already been sold. Yeah? What is necessary to maintain this thing? Yeah? Is it a lot of work to maintain this? Do I always have to check, I don't know, every two days all cable connectors or what is necessary? And of course, costs.
What does OneNote cost? Right? These are the questions you have to ask yourself. What is necessary to add a member? What is necessary to deal with failing members? What is necessary for timing? What is necessary for transmission speed? What necessary maximum length between two members do I have? Uh, are there choice of, of vendors? Are there references for this type of application? What is necessary to maintain this thing? And what is necessary to pay for this thing? All right. And then usually you have, there is not much left. Okay. So these are the things for field bus systems. Okay. The field bus system topic, I think we have covered, right? So there are various field bus systems out there. Now you know how to select them. Now we can go into measuring. And often we have to measure electrical units, yeah? current, voltage. So how do we measure electrical units? This is the topic of our next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.